I know how it started. I know all about Nigerian Carnival Island. When I first moved to Ireland, I can also claim to be the originator of Nigerian Carnival Island. Typical situation that you would find in any part of the world where people are stereotyping people, other people. But in all honesty, the originator actually is Yemi. So there was the stereotype about Nigerians. People believed that every Nigerian you found was a thief, a fraudster, a 419er. When she brought in the idea, we started looking at it and of course we had some challenges. And uh, by the grace of God, the challenges were surmounted. Every year in the Republic of Ireland since the year 2010, there has been a celebration of Nigeria in the form of a carnival by Nigerians living in Ireland and joined by lovers of Nigeria in the biggest and most popular mainstream Nigerian event in Ireland. My name is Nero and this is a show about Nigerian carnival Ireland. Now, it is an event created with the purpose of celebrating the cultural diversity and heritage of Nigeria to change people's perceptions about Nigerians and defeat negative stereotypes about them. Now, all this through positive information, dissemination and entertainment. Now, this event is held at the prestigious Phoenix Park in Dublin, Ireland. It is one of the largest world city parks in Europe and it is the area where the President of Ireland resides. So that's quite a big deal, okay? Now, the Nigerian Island Carnival takes place every year in Ireland in the month of August. This is the first edition of the show and we will be bringing to you highlights from past editions of the carnival for your viewing pleasure. Let's get the show started. We will be hearing from the originators of the carnival, Mr. and Mrs. Adenuga. They're going to tell us a bit of how they got the show started as well, as, some of, as well as some of the challenges they faced in the period, okay? So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Hi there, I'm Yemi Adenuga, and I'm Carnival Director for Nigerian Carnival Island. This year, Nigerian Carnival Island is celebrating its fifth anniversary. So, we are inviting you to join the carnival trade and be part of Dublin's Summer Festival. Mark these dates in your diary, the 18th to the 24th of August, 2014, and come enjoy the best of Nigerian and Ireland's most cultural fashion, food, culture, and have loads of fun. If you wish to join us from outside the Republic of Ireland, then visit our website at www.nigeriancarnivalisland.net and click on the International Participants page. Closing date for regular participants is the 6th of June and for VIP, it's the 18th of July, 2014. Interested partners and sponsors can contact us through our website or call plus 353-87-7621-660. Nigerian Carnival Island, celebrating cultural I have come to believe that in, in this age and time, one bad apple no longer spoils the whole bunch. You take out the one bad apple and what you have is a basket full of great apples. And I was a bit concerned. Um, it was my first time. I traveled a, a whole bit. I traveled a lot um, at that stage, but I never lived outside Nigeria. So it was my first time living outside Nigeria. And I got a feel of what it was like to be in the diaspora and to see how people felt, those who were in the diaspora before myself. Mm -hmm. 
so I thought, no, this just isn't it. I am a good Nigerian, well brought up Nigerian, a respectable Nigerian, and no one's going to stereotype me. No one's going to say I'm a fraudster or that I'm corrupt or that I'm no good. No, I am very good and I am very successful. So I needed to say that. She brought in the idea, we started looking at it, and of course we had some challenges. And uh, by the grace of God, the challenges were surmounted. Because quite a number of people had begun to have children in Ireland, and they were Irish citizens. And so if people moved back for any reason, a lot of the children will stay back in Ireland. They needed to know their culture, they needed to know who they were. That was another reason why we started Nigerian Carnival, aside from the stereotyping. When we were going to start Nigerian Carnival Island, we called on many Nigerians that were doing well then. That we thought, look, let's not do this alone. Let's bring on people. People had lost the value. People had missed the mark. People were no longer proud of who they were because they felt stigmatized by all the stories they'd heard. So I thought, no. I would want my children to be able to tell anybody anywhere in the world that they were Nigerians. Irrespective of them being Irish, they needed to be able to proudly say, I am originally Nigerian and I am a proud Nigerian. But unfortunately, they did not believe in it. And they thought it was going to be a failure. They even thought it cannot see the light of the day. So then we started thinking of what to do and then the idea of the carnival came up. It's fun, it's exciting, it brings people together. I haven't heard of anybody who hears about good food and it doesn't turn up. <laughs> so we thought the carnival was the thing to do. So we got some discouragements there, but we were not deterred by that. We moved on, myself and my wife. Uh, we moved on and by uh, the grace of God, in 2010, August, we had the first edition of the carnival. It was our own little way of rebranding Nigeria. There was a lot of talk about rebranding Nigeria at the time. We are not in government and we can come home and do all the big stuff that the people with the big money do. But it was a little way of rebranding Nigeria, making people see us positively rather than negatively. Challenges. There were loads of them. The first challenge would be funds. And it's always been a challenge, the funding. We we, we never get any funding from anywhere. Um, 
we put the funds in ourselves. So we're literally digging into our savings to make this happen. And a lot of people have called us crazy. How can you do this with your own money? It's not possible. You're getting some money from somewhere. But those who work with us know the truth of the matter. You know, without money, you cannot do anything that is really, really worth um, its while. And we were challenged on our own because we don't do things small. It was a big, big issue. Like, how do we go about doing this? actually wanted to start the carnival. There was one particular reason why the carnival uh, dragged the beginning. At the beginning, it dragged on and on and on. What you would usually have found at the time was that when people had events, they would rent a hall and the event would happen and end in the hall and that was it. People were going home. We wanted to do something in the mainstream. And that was the venue, the venue that we were actually targeting then, where we wanted to host the first edition of the carnival. We knew where we were coming from. Back home, we did things big. And we did things well. So we didn't want to just put ourselves in this little box in a corner because we were bored. No, Nigerians are great at what they do. No matter what they did, they were great at it. So we needed to show that we know what we're doing and we'll be great at what we were doing. Hello, my name is Lia Limoke. I'm the governor of Cross River State. And guess what? Nigeria Carnival Ireland is happening in August 2014. And guess who's going to be there? Carnival Calabar. And I'll be there too. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. See you in Ireland in August this year, 2014. And I'm looking forward to a great show from the usual, unbeatable, unmatchable Carnival Calabar. Make sure you're there. We wanted a mainstream venue. That was the first challenge getting a mainstream venue. So we had to kind of source location and then trim down. And when we were trimming down, we were getting, we, we weren't looking at the smaller places, we were looking at the bigger places. As we were trimming, we were trimming to the big, big places. <laughs> and we kept saying, are you, come, are you serious? You're looking at the, the big places. That would be difficult. Where we wanted to host the first edition of the carnival, and that was the Phoenix Park. That's where the president of Ireland lives. And that's where you have all the major, major concerts that happen in Ireland. Aside from Slim Castle, if they were happening in Dublin, it will be the Phoenix Park. So we kept thinking, no one's going to give us that. Our friends, nobody will give us that. Everybody thought it was impossible. Because uh, in Ireland, in Dublin, uh, it's a monument that the Irish, they guide, they guide it jealously. They, guide it, they protect it jealously. They don't joke with it. Phoenix Park. So it took us literally almost four years to get the Phoenix Park. We kept teaching and going back and forth. In fact, they wouldn't listen to us initially when we sent in our proposal. More so, I suppose, now we don't know that for a fact, but I think maybe just the name Nigerian. And before we started Nigerian Carnival at the Phoenix Park, there was never uh, an event that is not mainstream. In Phoenix Park. Well, we've approved it, but obviously you won't be able to do it again this year because it's really close. We said, no, we'll do it. Like, what? Yeah, we will do it. Come rain, come shine, we will do it. Mm -hmm. So we needed to prove when we stuck our necks in, we're like, okay, now it has to happen. So we got that done the first year and we crossed the first hurdle of the venue. We were excited. People didn't believe that we got Phoenix Park. When we started saying in the promos that we had Phoenix Park, they're like, yeah, sure, the same. Hi there. 
I'm Yemi Adenuga, and I'm Carnival Director for Nigerian Carnival Island. This year, Nigerian Carnival Island is celebrating its fifth anniversary. So, we are inviting you to join the carnival trade and be part of Dublin's summer festival. Mark these dates in your diary, the 18th to the 24th of August, 2014, and come enjoy the best of Nigerian and Ireland's multicultural fashion, food, culture, and have loads of fun. If you wish to join us from outside the Republic of Ireland, then visit our website at www.nigeriancarnivalisland.net and click on the International Participants page. Closing date for regular participants is the 6th of June and for VIP, it's the 18th of July, 2014. Interested partners and sponsors can contact us through our website or call plus 353-87-7621-660. Nigerian Carnival Island, celebrating cultural How did I feel after the first carnival or at the first carnival? Wow, 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 wow. 2010 August. It was marvelous. It got to a stage on that day. I just went and stood in a corner. I stood beside the head of the guards. In Ireland, we called the police the guards. And um, we had the guards, we had the police, you know, we had the security. And they always are the security on the day. I stood beside the, the, the person in charge on the day. I heaved a huge sigh of relief and I just looked up to heaven and said, Thank you. It was fantabulous. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, when we started making noise about it, the first good thing for us. And I will forever be grateful for that. I will be grateful to God and I will be grateful to that communication, AIT and Ray Power. That was the first very good thing that happened to us. We had our misgivings, we had our doubts. Um, a lot of them were unspoken. We're not people who give up. We're always ready for a challenge. We all, we're, we're crazy risk takers. You know, so for us that was a huge risk, putting so much into that for the first year. You know, they came as uh, the media partner and that encouraged us a lot. So we started making noise about it and, you know, people started looking at this like, will it happen? I was just blown away by what God had done in the day. We expected perhaps maximum 2,000, 2,500 500 people to turn up and just enjoy a fun day. Is it going to happen for real? So on the G-Day, you know, it was, I remember August 2010, uh, there was a shower early in the morning and we thought, okay, at least this is going to happen now. Whatever happens, we will take it like that. But over 10,000 people came. But by 12 o'clock, when we were supposed to sing the national anthem, mm -hmm. oh my God, people started trooping in from everywhere, all over Ireland. You know, it was so amazing that even far away, God from Galway, from Cork, people came in from Waterford, and it was so amazing. At a point where we kind of scared, like, how do we manage this crowd? But, and everything went so well. There was no fight. There, well, you know the usual thing you expect for a carnival of that magnitude. Then some people came to see whether it was going to be a success or not, and they, they joined the success. You know, they also added their presence to the success of the carnival. It was huge. It was peaceful, and the the, the people at the office of the public works who gave us the venue, trying to see what it's going to be like. Mm -hmm. They were also amazed. And, you know, after that, things started happening. And they said, you mean, it, it doesn't mean then that this is how Nigerians organize their stuff? Because we've seen some Nigerian events that are not, they're just not it. But if this is what it is, then you guys have the place every year. Just keep doing what you're doing and you have the place every year. There is 
should come and holla You don't impress me cause you drive a Hummer And no secret cause I don't even know I holla, yeah So save the drama for your baby mama You only wanna see me after hours I ain't gonna be your undercover lover Abuja, the capital of the country. Here you will discover Nigeria's religious and cultural diversity. While enjoying the many international hotels, offering first-rate hospitality and top-of-the-class business facilities. Step into the exciting city of Lagos, a place where tradition and modernity come together. Considered Africa's own Big Apple, the city is home to luxurious hotels and some of the best shops and restaurants in the country. Enjoy the unique nightlife and thriving music scene of one of the most vibrant cities on earth. Rediscover relaxation in Nigeria's southern state of Aqua Ibom. Enjoy the finest hospitality at Le Meridien Hotel and Golf Resort, where the lush greens of the world-class 18-hole golf course and its unique location in the middle of the jungle will ensure a lifetime of memories. Discover the beautiful city of Calabar, capital of the Cross River State, a lovely and peaceful place located on the southeast coast. Immerse yourself in the local traditions and get in touch with Nigeria's rich cultural history through the many festivals around the country. Take a trip through the mountain forest, where the Obudu Mountain Resort plays host to luxury travelers and some of the most important conventions in Africa. And pay a visit to the Alfi Mountain Wildlife Reserve, a rainforest sanctuary where you can see some of the most endangered species alive. A country with 170 million people. Africa's biggest market. Extraordinary. Fascinating. Nigeria. I was excited. I was impressed with God, if I dare say that. <laughs> Because I suppose God has a way of impressing you sometimes, you know. I was really, really, really happy and blown away by the success of the first carnival. And that gave us the vision of what the next few years was going to be. Uh, up until today, funding will still be a challenge, but it is not something we would have any fear for. We don't fear that again, because we know it's growing, and as, as it is growing and it's getting better, more people are believing in it. And once that happens to any project, then the funding will come. There is no money. We have a few patrons who genuinely support us every year. They come on board, they help us with the publishing of our magazine. We have an annual magazine, I have to show you that because we're really proud of it. It's the Nigerian Carnival magazine every year and some of our patrons, you know, support us in the, in the publishing of this magazine. So they put funds towards that. But aside from that, we really don't get any funding from anyway. So that's always a major fun, um, challenge and which we believe we're going to surpass this year. Celebrating cultural All right, welcome back. You have been watching highlights of Nigerian Carnival Island, and I hope you've enjoyed the show. Remember that you can be a part of the Nigerian Carnival Island by simply visiting the website www.nigeriancarnivalisland.net. Thanks for staying with us. Join us again next week for another edition of the show. My name is Nero. Goodbye.